Hey everyone, welcome to Will's Toy Room. Today I got some really cool to show you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new retro Obi Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, and Obi Wan figures. And here we are taking a closer look at the packaging for these two figures. Now, right off the bat, I have to say, I haven't been too crazy about the retro figures. But these ones caught my eye, and I just thought, man, do these actually look pretty good. So, of course, I had to at least pick up the two characters, you know, the two main ones. Now, about the packaging, we'll use Vader. Now, I'm not a fan of the on-purpose wear as far as the figures go, I think that looks tacky. But I really like this. Because it's actually... It's actually a sticker. As opposed to just being printed on. You know, kind of like how this is fake and stuff like that. But this is actually a sticker. Now, nothing really impressive on the back. Usual spiel. It does give you a list of other characters you can get in the line. Which... They actually did have all these other figures, but I wasn't too crazy about any of these guys. I really only wanted, you know, the two, the two heavy hitters, the two main, my main boys. Now, now we're going to go ahead and open these guys up and take an even better look at them. Goes that precious sticker. Come on, there we go. You got this little plastic loop right here. I better focus on that. I guess not. Thank you, camera. You're making this job so much better. Now he got Vader freed. Come on. Work with me. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now. You're pretty. Your standard Vader. You know. Standard Vader, except this time with a nice flowy cloth cape, which became, you know, popular in the later time of the Kenner Star Wars run, and found more footing once Hasbro took over the line, starting with, you know, Phantom Menace, with then more, again, more frequently with Revenge of the Sith, and Attack of the Clones, stuff like that. Um... But, I digress. If you're new to Kenner articulation, you got the head, you got the shoulder, and you got the leg, you got the kick. Standard five-point articulation. Pretty solid stuff here. I really like this new design, this, we'll call it upgrade of the classic Kenner Darth Vader. This is what we should have got back in 1985. Instead of, you know, the same Vader. Which, not knocking on Vader. Classic figure. I love the guy. But this, you know, just with the two... You get two hands and stuff. And kind of has that Kenner Anakin Emperor thing with, like, these, like, new molded legs and stuff like that. It's... It's really nice. Got some extra painted detail on the eyes there, if you can see that. Very Revenge of the Sith. Looks very nice. But all in all, the same simple Vader you've come to know and love. With a notable accessory. 
we have a new, sorry, the camera knows and does not want to help. Now, ah, there we go. You saw me struggling to put this in his hand a minute ago. A new lightsaber. Which, of course, the design looks familiar because... And I'll see this for a closer comparison later. But just like the classic Kenner lightsaber made popular, especially in the... especially made popular in more so the Return of the Jedi than the Empire line because everyone, you know, everyone had the Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight with the green lightsaber. Not many people had, you know, the other ones. Good stuff. Give it back to Vader. Put him back over there. Kind of sinking a little bit. Oh. And I guess I could point out this too. It comes tucked in the bottom of the toys. Another thing of legal stuff, what have you. You know, just be gone. Now, let us get Obi-Wan out. Dive into the accessories, we'll take a closer look at Obi-Wan. Pretty nice cloth cape. Uh, pretty darn good. Not a functioning holster, doesn't look like. Not like Hoth Han Solo. But functioning hood, maybe? Kinda? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Unrecognizable. You'd never know it was him. Beautiful. Uh, let's let's take this off. Take this off. See what Obi Wan's got under that robe. Put that off to the side. Goodbye, Vader. Uh, not a bad mold. Completely built, tooled from the bottom up. I don't know. On first glance probably wouldn't know this is Obi-Wan just because I guess I'm spoiled and I'm used to more this being a bigger stable of Obi-Wan the cloak than just this oh well still a decent figure head shoulder hip standard stuff and he actually comes with oh, let's go this way Two accessories. We get another lightsaber. This time in blue, which you've all seen this one before. If you know really anything about Kenner Star Wars, the they made a blue lightsaber back in the day. Which of course there's a whole history behind that with a yellow lightsaber as well. If you're interested in that, I'd highly recommend. I highly recommend Retro Blasting's videos on it. They go pretty in depth with uh, the whole yellow lightsaber versus blue lightsaber fiasco. Now let's give Obi Wan his saber. Come on, there you are. That boy. He comes with another accessory. This teeny tiny little blaster. Look at that little fella. I like this one because it has a lot of remnants of old Kenner in it. Like, I don't know if you can really see on camera, but it has little ridges right here, kind of like the Stormtrooper Blaster. And it also kind of reminds me of the Scout Trooper Blaster as well. 
I think it makes a great accessory. It definitely captures, sorry, do that down there. Do that down here so you can see it. Definitely captures the old Kenner spirit as far as weaponry goes. Pretty solid stuff. And here we have a little comparison. We got the new and the old. Do a little quick side by side. As you can tell, definite upgrades. I mean, one from the 70s and one from, well, now. You can definitely see, like, especially in the helmet, the original. But everything from the neck down, just entirely new, entirely different tool. A brilliant love letter, but an even better upgrade of the original toy. And as I said before, classic figure, do not get me wrong, but this should have come out in 1985. A different upgraded Vader with the same mechanic that Luke uh, Jedi Knight had and Bespin Luke with this kind of lightsaber. Definitely think that would have been an improvement. Obi-Wan maybe could have used an update, especially as a Force Ghost. There should have been a Force Ghost Luke in the 80s along with Force Ghost Yoda. They got Anakin, but not Obi-Wan and Yoda. I think that's criminal. But these two together, definitely complement each other very well. You know, with Alec Guinness here being the first, and Ewan taking up the mantle, you know, definitely good. Definitely good upgrades and compliments to the originals. Do I recommend them? If you only want these two from Obi-Wan, the new one in the retro collection, definitely pick them up. If you only want one, if there's just one figure that you just have to have, I have to give it up to Vader. Definitely the best. Definitely the best out of the whole toy line. He's right on that cusp of perfect thousands, perfect 80s, upgraded 70s. He just looks really darn good. And I gotta applaud Hasbro for it, because, you know, the retro toys just weren't interesting me. But these two right here, they got me hooked. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching and enjoyed my review of the new retro collection Obi-Wan series, Obi-Wan Invader. Thanks and have a great day.